everyone, my name is Tamara Chambers and this is Tamara's Never Seen. Today I'm watching Leon the Professional. There has been one person in the comments of like every single one of my videos telling me that I should do this every week. I don't know anything about this except for there's a very young Natalie Portman and as you can tell, I do a lot of research before I do these episodes. I don't, but I do put on fake bangs to look more like young Natalie Portman. I love Natalie Portman as an actress, and I'm really interested to see her in, I think, her first bigger role. I think after this it was Garden State, right? And then the Star Wars prequels? Ugh, it's a rough start. Let's see how Leon the Professional treated her, and let's do it. Okay. 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 This movie. This movie was so good. Man, it was beautifully done and. It was really pretty to look at, and the story was very interesting, and um, it was sad, and it was complex, and I, I, I felt for the characters. And also, it was extremely uncomfortable, which, you know, is something that is a good, it's, a, it's an indication of a complex movie, I guess. It made me very uncomfortable. I did not like the dynamic of Natalie Portman's character being so sexualized, I guess. It didn't last long. This is like me at a convention. I show up in full, full cosplay and then like an hour in, I'm like, okay, it's enough, it's too much, it's too, just take it off. Right off the bat, that assassination scene in the very beginning really got me hooked. I was just very excited to be led in. It's kind of like when reading a book or starting a new show on Netflix and the first episode or the first chapter just really grab you versus when they don't you're like, ah, is this even worth my time? If it's just not gonna grab me right out of the gate, should I even waste my time with this? This, it just grabbed me and I was really excited about it. Second note that I wrote is Natalie Portman. You put that cigarette down. You are 13 years old. I think the biggest question I have from this entire film is why does he drink so much milk? Disgusting. I'm a type 1 diabetic. <laughs> See, diabetic. You know what the doctor told me to drink when my blood sugar is too low? Like, I've, I'm past the point of helping it with like eating an apple or something. The drink milk because it has so much sugar, it'll raise it immediately. That's not good for you. Then you meet Gary Oldman's character, who is crazy. If you were to run into this person on the street, you would not stay for the whole conversation. He would walk away because it's so unnerving how powerful and confident yet insane and unstable this man is. Also, I think it only happens twice, but Gary Oldman takes these pills in the movie and those scenes are, it's the creepiest performance I've ever seen. It's absolutely phenomenal. It's so well done. He takes it and just like, oh, oh, oh. it's so creepy. I love it. It's so great. I want to see more of that. That's awesome. It's so fun to see someone just go completely batshit craisins and not apologize for it at all. He's just nuts in this whole performance and it's so engaging to watch. So Leon lives next door to Natalie Portman's character, Matilda, and he's been kind to her. So she decides she's gonna go buy him milk because he loves milk. So she leaves and then Gary Oldman's character comes in and kills her entire family, which is the pit, you know? It's a bummer. The milk count is higher than the body count, though. She's really hung up on the milk. It's too much milk. He takes her in under his wing, and she desperately wants to become a cleaner like him, hitman. There's one point where he goes into his kitchen, and he gets this little pig mitt, and starts talking to her as this pig. It's really sweet. There's some really kind father-daughter moments. And then there's also some moments that go beyond father-daughter, and I know that that's what, they're trying to toy that line. Like, where is this relationship? Because he's 
so important to her because her family's dead and he's taken her in and he's giving her purpose and she's so important to him because he's been alone and his best friend is a plant. He's doing a really good job of being this father figure and being the best thing in her life, which is hilarious because he's a hitman. But where is, oh, there's Linko. <laughs> Some of it gets crossed a little bit. Some of the line is just a little crossed. She also looks just like Millie Bobby Brown, pretty sure, the Stranger Kids, Stranger Things kid. And it's crazy how similar they look, but I have noticed in the past few years, there's a lot of actresses that look just like Natalie Portman. It's just, she's just a very agreeable looking human. And I think that the, the woman from 13 Reasons Why looks a lot like her. There's a, there's a few others who, Hollywood knows what they want. <laughs> he teaches her the ropes, which is really fun. They start acting as a team. Uh, there's a few moments that are just really great. Like there's a watering the plant scene where he's watering the plant. He's like, it's my best friend and there's no roots. It's the best, just like me. And she's like, it should have roots. If you loved it, you would give it roots. And you should be watering me if you want me to grow. And then he starts spraying her with the water and she dumps water all over him. They're like running around the house. It's very, it's just like, oh, this is something that she needs as a growing young child. Then there's also scenes that are deeply uncomfortable where like, where they're doing like the charade, like guess who I am thing. And she starts as Madonna and then Marilyn Monroe and then, you know, Charlie Chaplin. And then he's John Wayne. It, it turns into a really fun scene, but it starts off very uncomfortable. I imagine I'm not the only one who thinks this. I imagine this is the, a thing about this film, is that it's like really good, but very uncomfortable. And I know that's what they were going for. I'm not like faulting it on that. I'm just saying it looks very uncomfortable. <laughs> right, so she says that she's in love with him. Yikes, that's a yikes. They have to move again because she tells the hotel concierge that he's her lover. And she's clearly going through some things. Her whole family was shot down dead and she's always been this kind of, you know, beat up source of, getting shit thrown at her. So I, I understand, it's very, it's just, it's, uh, yeah, it sucks to watch it happen. Which is, I think, the point of this whole thing. It's like this crazy good character study of this hitman and this over-sexualized young woman and Gary Oldman, whatever he is, you know? <laughs> Speaking of Gary Oldman, that everyone made me laugh so hard that I had to pause the movie. <laughs> This last long giant shootout scene is so incredibly done and really high intensity and it's just, it's good. But then you see like a lot of love between him and her, which is like on one hand, really sweet. He's never had this, she's never had this. They love each other. But then on the other hand, you think, spoilers, he dies. If he hadn't have died, it feels like it would have gone into a bad place. It feels like they were just at the break and they kept it great until like right, if he would have made it out of this shootout scene, it would have gone to places it should not have ever gone to. She's like on his way to freedom and Gary Oldman shoots him. It's a great death scene. It's really well shot. It's like really pretty. The whole movie is really pretty, but it's really very interesting. This is from Matilda. He carried out the contract and blew him and Gary Oldman's character up. It's great. If Gary Oldman's character didn't die, I would have loved to see like now, Natalie Portman, like in a two, like Leon the professional, Matilda the professional. Now, you'll want a glass of milk. No. Is that Millie Bobby Brown or Natalie Portman? Yes, John Bailey, yes, exactly. Matilda will make you horribly uncomfortable. Yes. Yes, Char. Yes. You'll get really uncomfortable Lolita vibes. Yes. You'll never get enough of Oldman, and God damn it, we love him for it. Absolutely. I think the acting across the board was absolutely incredible, but Gary Oldman was next level creep. Just scary and terrifying and evil and it ruled. You'll think this is sick, yet hauntingly beautiful and strangely romantic, and I am not okay with how okay I am with that. Uh, no, no, I wasn't okay with the, the romance of it. I loved when they were having good relationshipy stuff in like a father-daughter role or like, um, I'm teaching you things, but I'm learning from you things kind of role. But I wasn't okay with that. Also, if you actually do the research, in the book, she rapes him. So seriously effed up, but weirdly compelling movie, but also at times it drags. Okay, I didn't see the dragging. Um, I didn't even know that it was based off of a book. 
And I could see that because in the movie he was very hesitant to have anything to do with her when she would start getting romantic. So I could see that happening in the book. Uncomfortable vibes! Great movie though. That's basically, yeah, that's the whole of it right there. Uncomfortable vibes, but it's great! We'll talk about the plant, yes. I've been growing things from seeds recently and it was fun to watch the love of the plant. Jenna Marbles recently put out a like 40 minute video talking about all of her house plants and the love she has for them. And it reminded me kind of of that, Jenna the professional. At first I wanted to not enjoy it because I was like, ugh, don't like watching that, that's not fun. But I don't know, I think, hopefully she was treated well on the set. She's a 13 year old girl or younger at that point. So hopefully that's not something that stuck with her in the moment. But I do think that movies can be uncomfortable and still be okay. I think it was a complex set of characters who went through some shit and were processing through it. She was so young and she was processing through her whole family being killed and her whole life being shit. And so, I don't know, yeah. I didn't love what was happening to her, of course, or what she was acting out upon, but I think that was, I mean, that was definitely the point, right? Just to feel that way. I think it was beautiful. I think the acting was killer. Just so good. And I'm, I'm glad that I finally have watched it. Definitely made me uncomfortable though. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys all next week with something just as uncomfortable. UHF. <laughs> Bye! That should be the thumbnail. That should be the thumbnail.